More than 4,000 audience at the National Convention Center State on November 14 were certified to hear the skillful and classy sound of world famous saxophonist Kenny G. The second time performing at the Vietnam, artist Kenny G present an emotional performance and surprise the audience with a surprising music night with a Nick Chang in Vietnamese. During Kenny G's performance, many beautiful images of Vietnam appeared, including images of Hoan Kim Lake and Thay Hook Bridge of Hanoi. On stage, for the second time in eight years, Kenny G immerses more than 4,000 audiences in a classy, emotional performance with love songs like Forever in Love, Going Home, The Moment, My Heart Will Go On. After many years, Kenny G's music still brings intact emotions to the audience. Even at the age of 70, Kennedy's music is still classy and sublime, still with his familiar appearance and curly hair. He brought a night of music that is both familiar and fresh. Before performing Havana, Kennedy also surprised the audience by speaking relatively fluent in Vietnamese. The artist's friendliness made the auditorium explode and gave him endless applause. The legendary saxophonist performed as the opening artist for the Good Morning Vietnam program initiated by Nhân Dân Newspaper and IB Group Vietnam for charity purposes and is expected to be held annually. Nearly 300 domestic and foreign enterprises are attending the 23rd Vietnam-China International Trade Fair that opened in northern Lao Cai province on November 10. Lasting to November the 15th, the fair features 529 pavilions and 88 exhibition areas of enterprises from 50 Vietnamese cities and provinces, 8 Chinese localities and 8 other countries. This year's fair is aimed at promoting the bridging role Lao Cai and Yunnan province in China play in comprehensive cooperation and sustainable development. It introduces various kinds of products, including agroforestry and fisheries, food, medicinal herbs, machinery and equipment, raw materials, chemicals, construction materials, electrical appliances, household appliances, consumer goods, furniture, and handicrafts. Deputy Chairman of the Lao Cai Provincial People's Committee, Huang Quốc Khánh, said Lao Cai and Yunnan have continued to introduce initiatives to cooperate to boost socio-economic development in both sides over recent years. Minister of Culture, Sport and Tourism signed a number of documents announcing five more heritages to the list of national intangible cultural heritage in northern Guangning province. According to the decisions, Guangning has five recognized national intangible cultural heritage, include the folk performance art of Song Kok singing of the San Chi people, the folk performance art of Song Kok singing of the San Ziu people, the Ha communal house festival, Vạn Ninh Communal House Festival, and down to the Phil Festival in Quảng Yên Town. Up to now, Quảng Ninh Province has 12 national intangible cultural heritages. Tân Hoa officially recognized as one of the world's best, best tourism villages. German new site introduced overlooked destinations in Vietnam. Tân Hoa in the central province of Quảng Bình was officially recognized as the World Best Tourism Village 2023 by the World Tourism Organization at a ceremony on Tuesday. Tân Hoa, a mountainous commune in Minh Hoa district, is blessed with breathtaking natural landscapes and special cultural identities. It's home to the Tulan Cave system, featuring spectacular stalactites and stalagmites. Over the past years, local residents have engaged in tourism activities to help sustainably reduce poverty. Tenhua has now become a weather-adapted tourism village with many unique and typical tourism products. The locality was selected as a filming location for the Hollywood blockbuster Kong Skull Island in 2016. 
Tân Hoa is the only village in Vietnam selected in the list of 260 tourism villages from 60 countries. The German Traveler News site Risk Reporter has posed an article introducing hidden treasure and natural wonders that are often overlooked in Vietnam. The first mentioned by author Daniel Scram is the Phong Nha Kẻ Bang cave system, the underground treasures in the central province of Quảng Bình. The author wrote that few places in the world can rival the cave landscape of Phong Nha Kẻ Bang in Vietnam, as this UNESCO World Heritage Site is a maker for those who love adventures in nature, including the famous Sơn Đòn Cave, widely considered the largest cave in the world. The Thiên Đường Cave is a spectacular cave with impressive formations, and the End Cave is one of the few caves globally where camping is allowed. Dreamy beaches in Khon Dao Island District in the southern province of Bari Vũng Tàu are also recommended by the author. He said Khon Dao is a real inside the tearful travelers looking for a remote island paradise as it boasts some of the most beautiful and unspoiled beaches in Vietnam. The article also introduced readers to Hội An in the central province of Quảng Nam. It stressed that while Hội An is not an unknown city, there are many authentic and hidden gems to discover away from the busy old town. Hội An Old Town itself is undoubtedly charming and full of historic architecture, but some of the real hidden gems lie in the less visited corners of the city. The author also mentioned hidden temples and pagodas in the former imperial city of Hue in the center of Vietnam, which is known for its impressive citadel and magnificent imperial tombs. He recommends visiting Thien Mu Pagoda and Xiao De Temple. That's the end for today. Thanks for your watching and see you next time.